Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Thrash and Supply handlebar bag. So the, the standard size and the plus size. Let's get into it. Okay everyone, so let's start with the, the, the standard size bag. So the Thrash and Supply handlebar bag. Now uh, in Australia here at the time of filming, this bag uh, retails for around $100 Australian and the, uh, the large one's about 115 to 120 So not a big deal of difference, although there is a little bit of size difference between these two. So the, the standard one here, uh, pretty nice nylon construction. It's got YKK zippers. Uh, plenty of uh, molly attachments here and the straps on the back as well for mounting onto your, 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 uh, your bars as well as some um, some straps on the bottom here that actually come with some loops um, that you can actually attach the uh, the tool roll as well so just looking inside the uh, the inside of the bag here uh, we've got a number of little pockets on the inside so there's a one large one and two sort of slightly smaller ones there as well for wedging uh, a few tools I can fit a, a Leatherman multi-tool on here pretty nicely and a few other bits and pieces and on the other side there's a big of a bit of a big loop uh, big sorry pocket there so you could you could probably attach nicely a um, or sorry insert a, a mobile phone I have a s21 plus and it doesn't quite fit in there but I assume that the standard one would fit um, um, on the front, uh, pretty basic, just got a little front little pouch there as well for putting keys, a few bits and pieces there and some more molly attachments here on the front. But that's essentially essentially it. Uh, the only other thing that this um, this product comes with uh, out of the box is the, the loops on the bottom which I'll show in a minute on the, on the plus size. Just to actually show a, a bit of a scale comparison here, uh, this is my S S21 Plus with, with no case on it, uh, and it fits fits in nicely uh, in the main compartment there. Although if I do try to insert it into the that back slot, as you're looking at, you can tell that it just doesn't quite doesn't quite go in there. So uh, sitting in the front, no worries. Uh, and also if we're going height wise it fits sideways but uh, pushed all the way down in you're not going to get the the depth there for it as well okay so here's the um the same bag but in the the plus size um so a little bit bigger it's uh same materials essentially exactly the same but a little bit longer and, and it also has a an extra pouch here on the front which we'll we'll look at in a sec here so we'll just quickly open it up have a look inside Hopefully you can see that on the camera there. Same, same. It's got one larger pouch on the, the right side and two, two sort of smaller pouches there that you quite easily fit. Uh, Multi-tool in this middle one here. The one on the left actually seems a little bit smaller again. Uh, and then on the, uh, the front side flap there we do have this, this little storage piece here. You could probably put a mobile phone in and sort of prevent it from being scratched with the rest of the stuff that you have inside the bag. Um, putting my same phone into this size now you can tell plenty of plenty of space there for, for fitting the phone and even with a big with a big case on it. So pretty happy with that. Now on the front we do have the the other small little pouch as well for putting keys whatever in there too but what I like because um, I'm actually a somebody who wears glasses um, is a little um, glasses pouch in the front here that has a real real nice felt type sort of material um, softer material there for protecting your glasses so you probably wouldn't really need to actually put them in anything but um, for example there's you know my prescription glasses fit in with plenty of space I've got a awesome and yeah just nicely protected inside there which I think is awesome now just to do a side side by side comparison you can see a little bit of space uh, size difference there so um, not a great deal obviously you can tell though it is the, the make or break though with a, a reasonable size mobile phone as well um, the small bag just doesn't quite cut it but the bigger one fits it in quite comfortably so something to consider there now one thing as well um, and I have mentioned this on my other videos with um, same deal with the the actual saddle bags is it would have been nice to see a bit of a, a locking loop here on the the zipper uh, what I've done is just just used a, a master lock, a pretty small key uh, 
sorry, lock that I put on here just to, to have it locked. So if I'm downtown, I don't want somebody having a bit of a look in what the what's in the main compartment and steal my bits and pieces. So just something to consider. I believe the Bitwell um, bags um, do actually have it though. So something to have a bit of a look at. Just quickly showing the, the, the plus size bag as well here. Um, these are the straps that, that both bags do come with. It, um, you can strap the tool roll on it, which I'll show in a sec. Uh, pretty nice little straps. I, I like it that they come with a little bit of a um, stretchy little bit of a, a cover there to, to close off the, the excess lube, which is, which is nice. You don't always see that sort of stuff. But let's throw the bag on it, the tool roll, and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the, the plus size handlebar bag with the Thrash and Supply tool roll on it. It's, uh, I do have quite a, a fair bit of tools in my bag. It is quite heavy. I feel like it would maybe eventually roll out. It's even to hang on there for now, but I'd be definitely looking at maybe something else to help hold that on if you wanted to, to use that, say, on the front of the bike. Okay, so I've just mounted up the, the plus size bag. Uh, something to consider. Um, the, the bottom straps, will um, you'll probably put it through the very lower molly uh, portion there to actually get it on the bars. I've just got standard bars, uh, or four inch riser bars on my lowrider S. Uh, but getting them on the top uh, with four inch bars, it's not going to quite wedge in there uh, too easily. So I've actually had to throw them, the, the top straps, through the side, um, I guess, horizontal loops, which is nice that they've got those. So the the ability to sort of really mount it up to, to most bars, I think um, Thrash and Supply are really catered for. So it sits in there pretty good. That's sort of pulling the bag right out. You can see fits fits fine. Probably with glasses, you might have to, depending on the size of your, your specs, put them in there and see how they how they sit as well. But providing that the bigger compartment's not sort of two chockers out, I think it'll push back and sit on there quite nicely. So let's mount up the this bag on the fr uh, front side and see how that looks. Okay, so we've made it, mounted up the, the plus size bag uh, on the front side of the bars. Uh, fits, fits pretty good, plenty of space there with the Road Warrior fairing on, not going to really get in the way of anything, even pushing it out all the way. It's uh, plenty of space, awesome. Uh, one consideration is just, um, yeah, obviously sort of mounting it on the, uh, on, on the front side there, that uh, that clutch cable sort of getting in the way a little bit there, but still fits on fine without putting uh, too much pressure on anything. So I think it should be fine. Okay, so we've mounted up the standard size bag on the front. Uh, both straps fit nicely on the uh, the two the two bottom, um, I guess vertically uh, Molly straps there. So fits in pretty good. Plenty of space. Same same, just like the other one. Okay, so standard size bag strapped onto the front, fits fine. Obviously the the, uh, the clutch cable there getting in the way a little bit, but it's still got enough um, strap to, to get it on nicely, so that's, uh, that's pretty good for me. Before we wrap this video up, just a little bit of a hot tip that uh, both size bags actually fit the, the Marshall, to, uh, Marshall Emerton uh, Bluetooth speaker as well, so for those of you that like a bit of bit of music on the road or even a pull up somewhere this fits um, nicely and with it the back sort of covered over uh, does sort of amplify the sound out the front a bit and also um, give a little bit more bass to to the speaker which is already pretty good uh, the now the tool roll the thrash and supply tool roll won't fit in the small bag uh, or won't fit in the um, the full size plus bag as well but the tool roll does actually fit in both of the saddle bags, which I've also done a review of um, that other thrash and supply product. So something to think about. Okay, well that wraps it up everybody. So thanks for uh, joining us today. I really hope you've liked the review. If you have liked the video, please consider hitting the like button or subscribing and we'll see you next time. Thank you.